TFNN Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials as well as the S&P close at new all-time highs. You had the Dow Industrials up 254 points, trading 26,659. S&P's up 22, 29,237. Gold contract up $3.60, trading at $12.11 an ounce. We had the uh, silver contract uh, trading up uh, five cents, fourteen dollars thirty-three cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down thirty-two cents, seventy dollars eighty cents a barrel. Notes and bonds are flat out here today. We had we they did break down. Uh, they broke the swing low. Looks like they want to go for the May swing low. That being said, the ten-year actually uh, got lower today and did reject lower price. So. Uh, I suspect first we're going to see this 10-year try to get higher. We'll see if we get any juice behind the move. King Dollar. King Dollar had a tough day out here. Bottom line, King Dollar broke lower, had wide price spread, had volume on the break. We did 28,000 contracts. We haven't done that in a long period of time. Uh, it was breaking the swing point, broke that swing, which only had 18,000 contracts. The swing we're talking there is 93, 930. Uh, so... King dollar came down six tenths of one penny, 654 ticks. You're at the 93,475. That's saying it's going to go for the 92,500. Now, the 92,500 is, is really crucial for it, folks, because that was when the dollar had huge strength. We went up two pennies in one day. Also, what you have is that the dollar's been at these highs now since the 21st of May. If we go take a look at this king dollar and we put it on a continuous contract, what you're going to see is that it's now below your swing highs, which took over seven weeks to get over, which was the 95 level, which was in October of 2017. It's just real possible that, uh, guess what, that you, uh, if we basically break under this 14th of June level, then you're going to get some real downdraft inside King Dollar. Then it can go all the way right back to the lows uh, out here that we generated out at about 88. So it's going to be pretty wild watching uh, how this whole thing shakes out. Uh, thus far today is that the bottom line is that it seems like the market likes a stronger dollar or the market likes a weaker dollar. Bottom line, market at all-time highs. Stay right there, folks. Going to be coming back with some numbers after the close, including Micron. And uh, it will be interesting to see Micron because Micron just missed its high-volume swing low from uh, February 9th. Coming right back.